Hey nerds, Bevan here. Welcome back to my channel. It is October 14th and Regina just got their first little smattering of snow. So we are in full on... What's the... What's the difference between fall and winter? Winter? Otter? Autumn, winter, otter? I don't know. It's October. It's almost Halloween! Which doesn't super excite me, but I do like the season because I get to watch a whole bunch of scary movies with some creepy crawlers and some witches and stuff. So I figured, let's talk about it. Today, we're breaking down my five favorite movie monsters. This list is not going to include giant, you know, take over the city monsters like Godzilla or King Kong. It's going to be going to be much smaller scale than that. Let's get into it. Number one, of course, is the iconic Dracula. Now, I'm not a huge fan of the original 1931 Dracula movie. I have seen it a handful of times uh, because I love the Universal Monsters universe and, and just like what they mean to cinematic history and pop culture in general. Uh, but I don't really love that one movie. I am going through... I have like a, a six pack of Universal Monster movies that I'm watching. In my next video will be me ranking all of those movies, so stay tuned for that. But Dracula, despite probably being my least favorite of the Universal... But despite being one of my least favorites of the Universal Monster movies, Dracula is so iconic that I, I can't help but love him. Um, ever since like Alvin the Chipmunks and Scooby-Doo stuff from the 90s when, when those teams were meeting up with the Universal Monsters, I've always loved Dracula. Um, whenever a new Dracula movie comes out, I do try to check it out. And if you have Netflix, check out their Dracula series. It's three episodes that are like 90 minutes each. Uh, the first two episodes are phenomenal, and episode three is really good. It just doesn't really seem to fit in. But check it out. Number four, we have the Slender Man from The Conjuring 2. I don't really know if these are in any specific order or not, or I'm just doing the ones that pop into my head first. Slenderman would be lower on this list, simply because he doesn't have such a huge role in The Conjuring 2, or even or The Conjuring Universe, or anything like that. Um, which, of course, The Conjuring is my favorite horror franchise. But I just love his, like, visual appeal within that movie, even in just, like, the short little scenes that he is in, uh, where he's, like giant he, he shapes shape shifts a little bit where his like size goes up and down and he fills up the whole hallway and he's like <sighs> i would love to see them do a follow-up like a whole film of slender man to see if he could like carry his own in that uh because he was a bit more of a red herring than anything in the conjuring 2 so uh seeing him have his his own full movie within the conjuring universe i think would be a lot of fun and i'd like to see that happen the third monster villain bad guy antagonist on this list is, of course, Freddy Krueger. Of like the big horror slasher uh, franchises, you know, Friday the 13th, Halloween, they were on Elm Street, Scream, etc. Uh, Freddy Krueger, in my opinion, is the best of the best when it comes to that, uh, especially that first movie. Uh, Obviously, the character evolved over time, became a little less scary, a lot more goofy. Um, but Freddy Krueger in that first Nightmare on Elm Street is simply terrifying. And my first introduction to Freddy Krueger was The Simpsons, two times. Uh, one, they make a reference to the first Nightmare on Elm Street uh, being scary in its time, but pretty tame at the time of that episode. Uh, and then they did the Groundskeeper Willie Trios of Horror. So uh, having the Simpsons connection there gives Freddy Krueger a big thumbs up in my book. Number four or number two. I forget if I was counting up or counting down. Doesn't matter. I already said this list wasn't in any specific order. But the fourth character I'm going to talk about today, Michael Myers. It's really easy to compare Michael Myers and Jason Voorhees. Now, I'm not going to call myself an expert in, in these franchises or really any of the franchises I have talked about here today so far. Um, but when it comes to Halloween versus uh, Friday the 13th, I, I definitely have not seen all of them. Uh, so I can really just go off the handful of movies that I have seen. 
I do like Michael Myers more, and probably that comes a lot from Laurie Stroud. To the best of my knowledge, Jason doesn't have a Batman to his Joker, a Spider-Man to his Green Goblin, Luke Skywalker to his Darth Vader, etc, etc, etc. Whereas Michael Myers at least has that one character he is always trying to get, except for like I think a couple movies in the 90s. But I love the original Halloween from I think it's 76 or something like that, maybe 79. Um, I actually really enjoy the Rob Zombie remakes. I love Halloween 2018 and I'm so pumped for Halloween Kills coming out here right away. Uh, and yeah, I also find his William Shatner mask more visually interesting than Jason's hockey mask. But it's a toss up really. They're, they're basically the same character. And number five or number one, because again, this list is in no particular order. So maybe it's three, two or four. Numbers are really hard, guys. We have Pennywise, the Dancing Clown. Specifically, the uh, night, the 2000, 2017, I think this movie came out. I love the remake of It. Chapter one, chapter two is, eh, it was way too long. Whatever, not the point. Talk about the monster, Pennywise. Did he pull a Voldemort in the end and get defeated by the power of friendship? Yeah, he did, but like, that's not his fault. That's how they wrote it, right? But the reasons I love Pennywise and why he actually could very well be number one on this list. One, the creep factor, the clown makeup, his, hey Georgie, you'll float too. I love that opening scene of that movie. It's so, fuck, it just gets me every time. Every fucking time Pennywise gets me. So the creep factor, the clown and the balloon. Look at that. Um, the, the actor, I forget who it was, Skarsgård, I think I want to say, I forget the first name, but just did such a great portrayal of this character and just put it so over the top. Pennywise doesn't really do a whole lot in that first movie until closer to the end, but you were terrified of him the entire time. And for that, he is... I'm going to call it right now. Pennywise is my favorite. There you have it. You heard it here first. Pennywise is the scariest monster ever put into a movie of all time. But anyway, yeah, that is my list. Dracula, Freddy Krueger, Slenderman, Michael Myers, Pennywise 2017. But with it being Halloween season and horror movie month, like the unofficial universal horror movie month, what are your favorite horror movie monsters, killers, bad guys, whatever word you want to throw in there. Uh, let me know in the comments below. Let's get a discussion going. Who's going to beat who? Uh, um, and then like I said, my next video will be me ranking several Universal Monster movies. I'm sure just like this video was, that one will be very controversial as well. Because again, it's my opinion. I'm not saying anything is better than anything else. I'm just saying my enjoyment of those things. If you like this video, hit that like button. And if you really like this video, hit that subscribe button. It's on one of these sides. I know it's somewhere. Uh, and stay tuned for more videos. Now I'm the director and you're on camera. Um, it's very early. I'm very tired. I have to go. Follow me on Instagram at Bevan Boychuk. And until next time, folks. See you next time, folks.